wonderful 10th graders and welcome to your summary under 10 minute session with me. Today we will be covering Bholi from Footprints Without Feet so let's get to it. Bholi was written by K.A. Abbas who was a popular Indian film director, journalist and novelist known for his works in Hindi, Urdu and other languages. Now this story is about a young girl named Sulekha who was popularly referred to as Bholi for her simple nature. So at 10 months she fell from a cot which had perhaps caused some damage to her brain. She used to stammer when she learned to talk. Bholi was born a pretty child but then she suffered from small pox that left dark pock marks on her face. The marks spoiled her appearance and people would often make fun of her because of her looks and because she stammered. Bholi's father Ramlal had seven children out of which three were sons and four were daughters. Among all daughters Bholi was the youngest. Her parents were worried about Bholi and how to get her married when she would grow older. One fine day, Tehsildar Sahab had come to perform an inaugural ceremony of primary school of a, for a primary school for girls in the village. And he told Ramlal to send all of his daughters to school. Now when Ramlal discussed this with his wife, she objected and said that nobody would marry their daughters if they were sent to school, which was the mindset that a lot of people had in uh, those times and still do in some rural areas. So she agreed to send Bholi to school because she wasn't even sure if Bholi would ever get married because of her appearance and the fact that she stammered. Initially, Bholi was scared of going to school as she had never heard about it. However, on the first day of school, she was groomed properly and sent to school. Bholi realized that it must be a better place than her own home. When she reached school, she was elated and overjoyed to see girls of her age around. She wanted to make friends with them, but she was scared to talk to them. When the class teacher smilingly asked her name, she stammered in front of the entire class and started crying. But her teacher was a kind-natured lady and she encouraged her to tell her name again. Her teacher told her to put fear out of her heart and not be scared. She was finally able to tell her name. Her teacher gave her a few books with pictures and asked her to come to school every day. This gave Bholi a new ray of hope and assurance of a new and better life. So many years passed, the village developed and soon became a small town and saw many improvements around it. Soon, there was a marriage proposal for Bholi. The prospective bridegroom, Bishambar, was a limping old man with grown-up children. He, he was almost Bholi's father's age. However, Ramlal's family agreed for this alliance as they thought that Bholi would not get a better match than this. Bholi's elder sisters were envious of the great pomp and show at their younger sister's wedding. However, when the groom Bishambar was about to put the garland around bri the bride's neck, a woman slowly slipped the veil from Bholi's face. The groom was surprised to see the pock marks on her face and he refused to marry her without a dowry of 5,000 rupees. Now, Bholi's father, Ramlal, somehow arranged this amount, which was a huge amount for the time, and gave it to Bishambar. However, as the groom tried to garland the bride, Bholi held his hand and refused to marry such a mean and greedy coward. All the people present in the wedding were stunned to see Bholi speak so confidently and without stammering or stuttering. The groom felt insulted and returned to his village. Later, Bholi assured her father that she would take care of him and her mother in their old age and would become a teacher in the same school where she learned so many new and good things. Looking at this, Bholi's teacher who was watching all of this from a distance felt a deep sense of relief and satisfaction at Bholi's courage and confidence that she exhibited in front of so many people. That brings us to the end of this summary. 
before I say goodbye, if you wish to become confident English speakers, the Baiju spoken English classes are perfect for you. You can see everything that you will get on screen and much more. So don't miss out on this opportunity. You're getting the two months confident speaker program at a lower cost. Make use of it. Enroll right away. Link is in the description. As always, we've got you covered. All you need to do is like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of the session updates. Thank you so much. 